What is up YouTube? We are here with a deck profile for the new uh, September format. Uh, this deck I started messing with a little bit like last month or last couple months here. Uh, two cards got banned, that being Jet and O-Line, which I played in this deck. This is not Heroes. Not this time at least. Uh, it's another old favorite. It's Light Swarms. So let's get into it. Uh, three Lumina. You can discard a card, target one Light Sworn in your graveyard, and a special summon it. Uh, triple Raiden, one of the tuners for the deck. Uh, he can mill two at the end of the turn. He mills two, if it mills Light Sworn, he gains attack. Uh, that doesn't really particularly matter. For the most part, he's there to get uh, Needle Fiber out, and he's also a name in the grave for Lumina. There's also a name in the grave for Judgment Dragon. Because, spoiler alert, we do still play Judgment Dragon. Uh, so, three Raiden, uh, three Wolves. Uh, what Wolf does when he's sent from the deck to the grave, doesn't particularly matter which way he's sent to the grave, um, he gets special summoned. He's a 21 beat stick, pretty good. Ideally, I'd like to get Raiden out if I can mill a Wolf, it's free needle fiber combo. Uh, lastly, for the Life Sworn named Monsters, one Felice. Almost the exact same thing as Wolf, except for she can only be special summoned if she's milled by a um, monster effect. She's also a tuner. So, more needle fiber syn synergy. Uh, for non Life Sworns, one Arch Lord Chrissia. Uh, we play Chaos stuff, so we can cheat this out. Relatively easily. Uh, I do not have a hollow of this. I'm working on finding at least a super. But this is... Uh, if you summon it out, it stops players from special summoning. And it's a light. Uh, for the dragons, two saferts. Um, when it's in the grave, you can banish it to add back a dragon from your grave to your hand. Plus it also can search out dra the dragons. Uh, one judgment... We really don't need to play more of this. We don't really summon it. It's there for another option. Uh, two Chaos Dragon Levioneers. We summon this quite a bit. Um, they can be used for uh, rank 8 play. Plus also being able to disrupt by taking at least a card out of your opponent's hand. Or using its light effects. You may be supposed to summon the uh, Chrissia from the grave. Just more options. Being how this is a Chaos deck. Uh, two Chaos Creators. If you don't know what this does, uh, Thunder Dragon is playing it a lot now. Uh, must be spell summoned from your hand by banishing one light and one dark from your grave. On the field, if you control this card, uh, spell summoned from your hand, you can target three banished monsters with different names. Special summon one of them, then place the rest in the bottom of the deck. So it allows you to get back some of your banished material. Uh, I play a regular Chaos Emperor Dragon. I don't have the Pendulum version, if you did play that. Uh... Searchable off Chaos Space if need be for quick uh, rank 8 play. Uh, that's all he's really there for. Just another part of the Chaos Engine. Uh, two Chaos Valkyries. Again, more Chaos. Searchable off Chaos Space. Banish either a light or a dark to special summon it. Just there for free. It's free material. Uh, one white, one black dragon. They float. Um, can be used for either a quick way to summon out, um, to link climb, I mean, or to make an exceed. Also feeds into the chaos part of the deck. Uh, not, next monster, we play a lot of monsters here, since I should be, I should make that clear. Uh, two Diana the Light Spirits, you banish a light to summon it, summon her. She is a light extender, that's a level four, easy to summon in this deck. We are almost done with the monsters, because like I said, we play a lot. This is also like a 44, 45 card deck. Uh, two Plague Spreader Zombies. We don't have Jet, we don't have O-Lion. So Plague Spreader results to be the uh, next best tuner we can play. Plus it's also a dark. We can, uh, if we mill it, we can recycle it back and special summon it to either make into our Needle Fiber or to use for some kind of Synchro Summon. Uh, one damage juggler, one trick clown, and one hat trigger. The clown engine, again, uh, light sworn deck. 
if we mill either one of these two, we can either special and trick clown uh, or use damage juggler to switch out the hat trigger for another level 4 extender. And the last chunk for monsters, the, a small danger package, uh, I still don't have Nessie. If I had Nessie, I'd play that as well. I'd probably bump this to 45. But I don't, so. Small danger, engine, darks. So that's it for the monsters, for the spells. Three solar recharges. Discard a light sworn, draw two, mill two. Uh, three charge of the light brigades, mill three from the deck as cost to search your deck for for a light sworn, a level four lower light sworn. <laughs> Easy way to fill up the grave with those. Uh, uh, three chaos spaces. If you don't know what chaos space does, you can send a light or dark from your hand to the graveyard to add one light or dark that cannot be special summoned, um, that cannot be normal summoned or set from your deck to your hand with a level four to eight and is a different attribute than the monster you send. So if you send a light, you add a, you add a dark. If you send a dark, you add a light. Uh, in the graveyard, you can banish it, take one of your uh, banished monsters, put it in the bottom of your deck, draw a card. So it's just a free way to recycle material. Uh, one monster reborn and one foolish burial. And that is it for the main deck. For the extra, we can't play uh, Link Creative anymore, so if we need to go for a one card Needle Fiber, we have to play El Mirage to make with the Plague Spreader. Uh, one Link Cross, one Needle Fiber, because they are broken still. Uh, one IP Masquerina uh, to make it for disruption. Curious, two Mill Cards. Uh, number Unicorn to spin cards if we make, use uh, IP Masquerina, make this make a Unicorn relatively easily. Then it's another disruption. Uh, one Bow Goddess. Negates a uh, sword is for OCK. That's it for the links. Again, Needle Fiber combo. So one um, Metal Marcher, one Herald, one Boar Lord Savage. And lastly, for the Synchros, is one uh, Chaos, Ru Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon, uh, which is a newer Synchro. If you don't know what the Synchro does, when it's summoned, you mill the top five cards of your deck or you excavate the top five cards of your deck, add a light or a dark among them, then the rest go to the grave. This automatic synergy of the stack, because most of them do something in grave, and we want to fill our grave. Uh, when it's in the grave, you can banish a light and dark to special summon it back out, but banish it when it leaves the field. So you can bring this back out and make a rank eight. For the exceeds, which is the last part of the deck, uh, one Minerva, because this is Light Swords, and Light Swords always play the Minerva to mill more cards in the deck and to uh, draw some cards. Plus, also a name for Judgment Dragon if that comes up. Uh, one Abyss Dweller, one of the best rank four you can play right now. And lastly, one number 38, Hope Harminger, as the rank eight. Uh, you can play Dingrisu if you want to. This is here for another negation. So, yes, that is it for the deck. Uh, it's a classic deck that. I've always had like somewhere in my uh, deck. Not, I'm not gonna say rotation, but I've always played this deck in some way, shape, form because it's a classic. So, and with the ban list, this deck didn't really change a whole lot. Just had to drop the Jet Synchron and O Lion for the Plague Spreaders. After that, the deck functions the exact same way. There's nothing to uh, really, nothing else really had to be added. Other than that, uh, this deck can be relative. This deck is also relatively inexpensive, but it's also but it's fun. I'm not gonna say it's the most meta deck, but it for sure is fun and also can borderline under uh, Dragon Link style plays. So that is gonna be it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you guys next time.